I'm not interested in doing weddings or portraits or anything like that, uh, just the wildlife part, because it's a means of getting out in the woods, and uh, there aren't too many ways that you can do that and make a living. Fifteen years ago, John Swedberg signed on as Senior Wildlife Photographer for the Massachusetts Division of Fisheries and Wildlife. What began as a lively interest for a young man from central Massachusetts then became a livelihood. I used to stop in the office there, the Fish and Wildlife office once in a while, and see the fellow that had the job that I have now. Mm -hmm. And I used to tell him that I thought he had the best job in the world. Yeah. And uh, he moved on to another job, and when he sent in his resignation, he called me up and told me he had just sent in a letter, and if I was really interested in the job, now was the time to try for it. Swedberg attributes some of his best work to good fortune and patience, a lot of patience. He says it was five years before he got his first satisfactory shot. He sits in hot and cold climates alike, from dawn to dusk, peering out on his subjects from camouflaged positions below ground, above ground, and even from trees. I used to build a little pile of brush and hide behind that, and now I can't stand the cold, and I build blinds that are more like little motel rooms, <laughs> out of plywood and real substantial blinds. I like to winter the best, yeah. It's a, it's a wilder time, there's not many people around, and it's a, more, more happening. Swedberg is, in a sense, a hunter. He captures wildlife through the eye of his 16-millimeter movie camera and his 35-millimeter Nikon. With the flick of a switch, he freezes time and nature for generations. People love owls. I think people relate to owls because they have frontal eyes mm -hmm. and they turn their head to look just like you and I do, yeah. whereas other birds, the eyes are on the side, you know? Right. See? And I think you relate to that um. without knowing it. Swedberg's photographs have appeared in and on the cover of numerous nature magazines and books, and his film work has appeared in documentary projects such as Still Waters, a Nova special about wildlife along the Quabbin Reservoir in central Massachusetts, and in the movie Home Free, detailing efforts to bring eagles back to Massachusetts. What an experience to go through, huh? Yeah. What an experience. Put you through this. It won't take long, and then you'll forget all about it. Swedberg says eagles stopped nesting in Massachusetts around the turn of the century. So in 1982, he and other conservationists began bringing baby eagles here from points north and west in hopes of repopulating this area. At the reservoir years and years ago, I think it was 1950, I uh, saw a, uh, an eagle flying over the water. I was up on a big ledge. And bird was below me and I was looking down on an adult bald eagle against the blue water and boy I, that really spurred me on to getting a camera and, and getting yeah. started. And he has traveled with his camera to the deep south and the far north. He went to Alaska in search of eagles and discovered its majestic scenery. It's fine to have people shooting the photographs. I think what's more important to have people uh, like myself that are interested in preserving the wilderness that we have so that we'll have the wildlife. I think that's more important than the photographs. For the 10 o'clock news, I'm Marcus Jones.